Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Meta Platforms. The report was first published on our website January 25, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Meta Platforms for the upcoming trading day on Wednesday 26th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Meta Platform's performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Meta Platform's stock currently holds a minus 3.984 score, and our system has ranked Meta Platform's sell candidate since January 25, 2022. Over the next few days, we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Meta Platforms our last headline reads, Evaluation of Meta Platforms Incorporated Stock Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. The Meta Platforms Incorporated Stock Price Fell by minus 2.77% on the last day, Tuesday, January 25, 2022, from $308.71 to $300.15. During the day the stock fluctuated 2.91% from a day low at $297.58 to a day high of $306.23. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 8.51% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 13 million shares and in total, 25 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.43 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $384.33, and the lowest price was $253.50. Right now the price is 21.9%, or $84.18, below 52-week high at $384.33, which also is all-time high for the stock. The Meta Platform Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock has broken the wide and horizontal trend down. Breaks like this are often followed by swift and strong movements, and any correction down to the break line at approximately $303.06 is considered to be a second chance to get out before further fall. It is, however, important to note that false breaks may appear and that the price may move back into the horizontal trend. A break on increasing volume is considered to be more significant and reliable than breaks on low volume. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 1.91% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 0.63% and 12.81%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 19.63% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 19.96% and 62.93%. This equals a price between $360.07 and $489.03 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 20, 2022 UBS Group set target to $440. On Tuesday, January 18, 2022 JP Morgan Chase & Company set target to $385. On Tuesday, January 4, 2022 Jefferies Financial Group set target to $420. On Wednesday, December 29, 2021 Jefferies Financial Group set target to $420. On Monday, December 6, 2021 HSBC set target to $300. From analysts Meta Platform stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Meta Platform's stock a neutral rating. In this section, we will give you some information about signals found for Meta Platforms. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. 
there are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Meta Platform's incorporated stock hold sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $314.03 and $329.56. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, December 28, 2021, and so far it has fallen minus 13.31%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. The stock had a golden star signal on Tuesday, February 9, 2021 in the long-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 20 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal one day ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal two days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal nine days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 10 days. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, Short moving average gave a sell signal 18 days ago. The long term moving average gave a sell signal 20 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 80 days. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk and stop loss for meta platforms. There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $8.65 between high and low, or 2.91%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 4.25%. The stock has a beta of 1.33. This tells us that Meta Platforms is 0.33 times more volatile than the market. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Meta Platforms. The price to earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Meta Platforms currently has a price earning ratio of 21.86. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2021 is expected to be released February 02, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are $3.84. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Meta Platforms meets first resistance at $315.81. If you do not hold Meta Platforms shares, you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock, this is the level you may want to swing trade. The stock does not have any support from accumulate volume below and may therefore fall very hard and fast given the right conditions. Caution is warned and you should not place any bet unless you're a skilled trader and know how to play these cases. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are Buy at $298.02, $295.97, Sell at $304.62, $309.97. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Meta Platforms is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. 
On January 18, 2022 Newstead Jennifer made an inside sell of 125 of class a common stock. On January 18, 2022 Sue Tony made an inside buy of 3,023 of restricted stock units, RSU, Class A. On January 18, 2022 Sue Tony made an inside buy of 389 of restricted stock units, RSU, Class A. On January 11, 2022 Newstead Jennifer made an inside sell of 125 of Class A common stock. On January 11, 2022 Newstead Jennifer made an inside sell of 125 of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 22.510. In total, the insiders bought 203,037 and sold 322,821 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Meta Platforms stock a buy? Meta Platforms Incorporated holds several negative signals and is within a wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture, we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Wednesday 26th, we expect Meta Platforms to open up $1.17 and start trading at $301.32. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.